Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvanian toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing the Transformers Earth Spark One Step Changer Breakdown. As you know, as you know Breakdown is one of the original Generation 1 Stunicons from the Menasaur Combiner, but in the Earth Spark cartoon, he's his own separate character. And I don't, I think the other Stunicons have been long since dead, which is a shame. But it was a good series, which is probably why I enjoyed Breakdown that much. That's why I picked up this one step changer for only 10 bucks on eBay. Is this figure worth 10 bucks? Yeah. He's simple to transform and looks really good looking. Even the box artwork looks amazing. Before we get on to the figure itself, we're going to look at the box artwork. Got a product shot of breakdown in his robot mode and vehicle mode. One step flip. Here we got Breakdown's cartoon appearance artwork. Not bad. I do say so myself. Transformers one step flip and chain breakdown. That's what they're calling these one step changers. And then we got the transformation steps and all the information. Who and Hasbro, Transformers Generations, more than meets the eye. And that's all there is to say for the packaging. Now we're going to look at Breakdown himself. He rolls very well for a little one-step changer. He is amazing. But before we get down to transformation, he does share a similar mold with uh, the second variant of Wheeljack from Cyberverse and also Earthspark. The Earthspark Wheeljack, which I don't own. But here we got the, original, the second one-step changer. Wheel Jack, as you can see, this one's different than that one. And of course, with another one of the Stunicons, it's Michael Bay, you Reveal the Shield, Dead End, why not? And those are all the comparisons I have for this video. Now on to transforming him, which is very simple. We're going to pull this down. Fold them out like so, making sure this panel right here plugs in. And there you got breakdown in his robot mode. He easily converts back if you pull on it like this. He'll easily convert back to his vehicle mode. Very simple, basic transformation on this guy. But let's look at the figure in his robot mode with that really well sculpt and paint sculpt. Paint on this guy is really good. The head sculpt is really well painted. The body is really well painted. I dig that. I don't like the hollow bits as much. But you can overlook it from this end, which ain't too bad. But now we're going to get down to some robot mode comparisons. First, we're going to do with my Cyberverse wheel jack, if I can get him to transform on camera. I don't transform this guy as much as I used to since I first got him. But here we got Wheeljack and Breakdown. And last but not least, we're going to transform the Reveal the Shield. Dead End. Compare him next to that guy. But the problem with my copy is his legs keep popping loose on this guy of mine. <laughs> it's the ingenuity quality of these guys from back in the day way to design them. Which, Which yeah, yeah, I've got I... a pretty photographic memory when it comes to my transformations. Has to look good. It has to be really well done. Sculpted for me to absolutely enjoy it. And I do enjoy a good transformation. Got one leg all done. Now we just do the other. Straighten out his arms, flip out his head, off camera. And here we got Breakdown next to a Michael Bay-inspired Stunicon Dead End. As you can see, Dead End is a different color from Breakdown. I like Breakdown as much as I do Dead End. So yeah, this is not a bad, simple 
figure you could buy for only 10 bucks. If you want a simple transformer to review, if you're a transformer reviewer like I am, then these guys are worth 10 bucks. I'd say so myself. That's why I love picking these guys up. They look amazing. They're really well done. I will give them that much credit. Will I pick up any more Earthspark figures? If I could find any more, I'll definitely pick some more up. Because this is a fun line to collect. And it's so cool, so fun, and so simple. And I have one more review until my side video Saturday. When we go on the 19th, which is Saturday, to the new Ross Dress for Less in Monroeville. Hopefully, they have a huge selection of toys for me when I go in. But other than that, I'm hoping to find some epic action figure scores and make my day. Because you, know, you me, know me, I love some Transformers toys and some other toys. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land.